Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. I know what you're thinking. Is that a Coke can or is that a cooler? Believe it or not, they're actually laser projectors. Check it out. <laughs> now what we have here today is actually the Capsule 3 laser projector and the Cosmos 4K laser projector, both of which are by Nebula, a company that makes a variety of cool projectors in which these two here are probably their pinnacle of the coolness factors in most projectors. That's right. This here is a portable projector that looks like or essentially the size of a Coke can with Adobe surround sound system into it as well as a 1080p camera filming up to 150 inches as well as the capability to go ahead and autofocus in a matter of seconds. Not only that, it comes with all the bells and whistles including Android TV, Chromecast, HDMI port and the fact that it has its own built-in battery meaning you can go ahead and put this just about anywhere. Now the unique kicker between these two is the fact that they're laser projectors. That's right. You can go ahead and watch in broad daylight at super brightness without any hesitation. Now the four Cosmos 4K is just about the same but it features a 4K projector which is cool uh, but you do have to plug this one in into the wall but still overall a really cool concept and it is also very lightweight. Now today we'll be unboxing both of these and trying them out and seeing exactly how they perform. So without further ado let's go ahead and rewind and unbox these things. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with what we're here for. This here is the Nebula Capsule 3 Laser, essentially a portable laser projector that is designed to be the size of a Coke can. Now I'm actually really thrilled to see this just because I love laser projectors and seeing something this small is definitely very unique. Not only that, it can go ahead and shoot up to 150 inches and being a laser projector, that means it has a nice bright display that you can even use in broad daylight. Now this thing also features a variety of different cool things such as Android TV, TV, Chromecast, Dolby surround sound, and an HDMI port so you can go ahead and use it just about anywhere. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Alright, so this here's our packaging, this here's our box, kind of showcases it a little bit in terms of detail. Literally looks like a Coke can with a projector built into it. Now it says Chromecast built in, so that's nice, so you can go ahead and link up to it using your phone. Uh, so you can do uh, picture by picture, you can uh, screen share, stuff like that. It does have Android TV, so it does give you a variety of different apps that you can use, and of course the laser powered and Adobe Audio. Over here kind of shows somebody holding it about, and on the back here kind of shows you camping in the future, I guess you could say. So it does feature Android 11, which is nice. Uh, it does have a DLP, display technology, laser technology, which is great for brightness, of course. Uh, the resolution is 1080. Again, this is, of course, its size, so that is actually pretty good for what its standards are. Battery capacity of 14,500 mAh, with input of 20 volts, and then connectivity of USB-C, HDMI, aux out, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Chromecast. And that is about it. So it says, laser brightness goes anywhere. Capsule 3 laser. Showcases a little blueprint over here, pretty nice. Talk about presentation. <laughs> All right, so this here's everything that you get. So you get your beautiful looking projector. So it's a little bit bigger than a typical Coke can, but I would say compared to some energy drinks, it's actually pretty nicely sized. <laughs> now, it does have a really cool presence to it. So you have essentially this almost like mesh going around it. And uh, that is obviously the speaker. You got the Adobe surround sound there. You got your power button here on the back. Uh, looks like you have some buttons here on the top for the menu control. This does have keystone correction in which will automatically adjust to anywhere you're at and get you the perfect screen in a matter of seconds. Now over here we have a few different sensors. And then on the bottom port here we do have a connection so you can technically put this on a tripod, but it also has a rubber gripper so you can just go ahead and place it just like that and you're ready to go. Now this here is going to be our power cord. So this will connect to it USB to C uh, and that is going to be for our type C. And then that is to go essentially charge it from my understanding. Inside here you're going to have your user manual and then you have your remote control with battery. So that's nice that they do include that as well. So it says you have your lens, you have your camera for the auto focusing as well as a keystone correction. So that's cool. In terms of the remote goes, you have your auto focus button, you have your on off, your Google assistant, your uh, 
navigations and then your return to menu access home menu as well as access more options and then lastly your volume control now you can charge it by using the USB-C and then you turn it on by holding the power button for three seconds aside that I mean it looks like it's a pretty straightforward setup all right and now we're gonna go ahead and unbox essentially the 4k laser projector so this here is the cosmos laser 4k and as we kind of look at the box here kind of showcases here on the front so it almost looks like a battery pack with the handle and a gigantic lens on the front again Chromecast built-in, Dolby Audio, uh, laser powered, kind of shows you someone there kind of holding it. On the back here kind of talks about a little more in terms of detail. So watch content anywhere, anytime. Essentially with the laser projector, you can display it in just about anywhere. And then it also features a 4K, so you do get that nice quality video. Also features Android TV as well as OK Google. Smart and quick setup. And yeah, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, check it out. That is actually pretty cool. So this here's our laser projector. Comes with an accessory package. So inside here, you're gonna have all your bells and whistles, including your power cable to go ahead and plug it into the wall. Uh, and then you have your user manual. Uh, you have your remote. So it does come with a little, a little stre streaming dongle. That's nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install our streaming dongle. Uh, so quite interesting that it doesn't come pre-installed, but it <laughs> seems like a pretty quick setup. So there's a little panel here on the back. Uh, it says to slide it up like that. Okay. And then this will connect here. All right, and then from there, we've installed our streaming dongle. Now we're gonna connect the power cable and add our batteries, and that is about it in terms of being able to use it. So some few thoughts is that one, it is not that heavy, surprisingly, it is quite lightweight. Uh, you do have your camera here for a keystone correction. You have your gigantic 4K laser projector right there. You got some rubber stoppers on the bottom as well as a port here to go ahead and mount it on a tripod. On the back here, you have your power port, HDMI, USB, aux, and on the top here, you're gonna have your few different touch panels. So you have brightness, uh, you have positive negative for volume you have your navigation and your return to menu and then your power button right here so yeah pretty straightforward stuff well let's go ahead and set this thing up next and try it out all right so let's go ahead and start off with the nebula capsule 3 so we're outside here inside our basement studio and i'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing on and project it against this wall here and see how it plays out in terms of connecting something like a nintendo switch to it as well so let's go ahead and turn it on so on the back side here we're going to hold this on button and it'll have a slightly boot up processor with some LED LEDs indicating here on the top as it begins to go ahead and boot up and from there I'm gonna go ahead and project it on that screen right over there check it out that's pretty cool all right, so this here's our main hub. Uh, so you do have your Android TV kind of set up here with a variety of different apps that you can download. And you can just click on apps here and you can see all the different ones here. Now they also have Google Play Store so you could technically download more. Uh, and then you have other variations of things from Google Play games and just different things in terms of what kind of stuff that there is. Now, these are pre-defaulted from YouTube to YouTube Music to Prime Video. Obviously you can download like Netflix and all that on here. So you have a lot of different goodies based on what you're looking for. Now. Now on the top here, you do have your settings. So under settings mode, uh, you can connect to your Wi-Fi. You have your projector settings. So if you go to projector settings, uh, you can adjust the brightness of the screen so I can make it brighter. Uh, this way makes it a little bit more uh, vibrant, I guess you could say. And then you have your automatic mode and stuff like that where you can essentially adjust it based on your current preference. Now you have image correction, focus setting, sound, Bluetooth speaker mode. So you can technically use the speaker of the projector as a Bluetooth speaker, which is great. Uh, you have your different accounts and your remote and accessories, which is really nice. So it does give you a lot of different variations in, in terms of settings go. Now, if I go back to the main menu here you have your battery life and then you have your input so you do have your HDMI port on the outside as well as a USB uh, you can see right here what's currently being pending and then over here is your notifications now to kind of show you how this kind of plays out I'm clicking on YouTube here and I'm gonna do a quick little search of let's just say conflicts uh, and we can see my channel right over here and like if I just go ahead and click on this video here uh, you can actually see how the quality is now I can increase the volume here to show you the volume control Surprisingly, the audio quality is very crisp, and there's actually a good amount of bass coming out of that little tiny speaker. 
Man, check out the quality of that. So you can see how beautiful this projector is. And this thing can project up to 150 inches. And I have to say, this is absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's lower the volume here for a second. So you can see right off the back how great of a quality video this is in terms of the projector it goes and how quickly it's rendering it. Now, a lot of projectors of its size have trouble rendering, especially with the YouTube and different apps. Now, it not being a laser thrower projector, you do have the issue of the shadow casting, so you can't really walk in front of it. Uh, but, you know, again, it does play it quite well. Now, another thing to note is it does have the auto correction tool. So for instance, if somebody moves a projector like this, you'll see that it'll show the keystone correction there and automatically adjust based on what it's trying to do. So check it out right there. Look at that. How crazy is that? It can go ahead and correct itself in a matter of seconds. So let's go ahead and push this back over here again. Let's move this right over here per se. And you'll see again, once again, that it corrects itself in a matter of seconds. There we are. So it's asking, are we satisfied? I'll say, yes, I am. Now, another thing to note is that the distance from the top of the ceiling to the projector screen on both sides is exactly the same. So it does have a very good correction tool. And I have to say that is absolutely a beautiful thing. Now you can technically like angle it down and angle it up and whichever way you're angling it, it'll automatically correct itself based off of that. And that is actually a very good tool. All right, so I'm gonna go back into home. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go and try to connect my Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to plug in my Nintendo Switch into the back HDMI port. I'm going to bring up the volume here to show you guys how this plays out. So this is Nintendo Switch using it. Uh, and again, you know, this is all hands free. So it's got no, nothing plugged into it. It's got, it doesn't require a constant power, meaning I can play this outdoors. And we have, there you go, Super Smash Brothers. All right, let's play this. So, so far everything is great and I can imagine doing this outside with four controllers uh, and this is absolutely cool. <laughs> ah, so awesome. Take that. And the, the latency on it is absolutely great. There's no delay, there's no lag. And you'd imagine like that being an issue with, you know, a smaller uh, projector, but these guys did a great job with this. I mean, if you're looking for something in terms of like a projector that you can use and play games with like this, this here is a great way to go. Come on. that's about so overall a really cool concept um, and yeah so I can just simply go back into the main menu by hitting home like this and now I can watch a movie. <laughs> so that is absolutely cool that you can do these kind of things. And I, I mean, I really like the fact that it's actually very easy and very simple to use. All right, and then there's some other smart features as well. So for instance, the remote actually has a built-in microphone. So if I click on this and say, open YouTube, Opening YouTube. Haha, <laughs> beautiful. So you can technically just give it commands and use it for a variety of different ways for that. Now I noticed a lot of uh, projectors won't be able to play 360 videos. So we're gonna go ahead and try out a 360 video here and see how this plays out. Uh, so let's see what we got here. But yeah, it kind of gives you an idea what that's about. So overall, a really cool design concept. And then of course you can technically control it from the top here as well. So you have your buttons here that you can uh, click on menu. You don't even technically even need the remote. So I love the fact that it does give you that feature. So if I want to control it here, I can use it as a remote on the top here. I can increase and decrease the volume. And yeah, I mean, overall, it's actually a really simple design concept. Now, when you're done set, you can just go and, and I'll also you have your Bluetooth button here on the back. So if I click this here, I can use this as a Bluetooth speaker. So now I can do is I can look for it. And if I click on Bluetooth, I can look up Nebula. Hey. 
So just like that, I can use this as a Bluetooth speaker in a matter of seconds. And I can disable that by pressing this back button here, and this will disable the Bluetooth speaker, just like that. And then you hit the power button here, it'll go ahead and disable the power button and put it in sleep mode. And that is about it in terms of being able to use this. So that is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and try out the Cosmos 4K laser projector next. All right, so I went ahead and just plugged it in. So we're ready to go. Now there's a power button here on the top. It's indicated red. I'm gonna hit that once. Uh, and see if this thing boots up. Got a blue LED there. Hear a slight humming sound. Now, do note that this is a 4K projector, so it should be quite crisp. And now we have something on our wall. Okay, so now we have auto keystone correction and it's currently auto focusing and there we go. So this thing is now focused. All right, so this here is gonna be our 4K projector. And uh, yeah, similar setup to the other one here. So we're just gonna go into settings here. We're gonna log into our Wi-Fi. All right, so just like that, we were able to connect to it. Uh, quite simple, and then this one here actually has some pre-defaulted apps, including Prime Video, Disney, Netflix, YouTube, Google Home. Uh, you have other things, including different games, AirScreen, Nebula Manager. So AirScreen lets you essentially kind of screenplay from your phone to the screen, which is nice. So yeah, it's simple in terms of concept goes. So you do have your YouTube on here as well. So let's try this out. Conflicts, our new channel here. So I'm gonna click on just to kind of showcase a video here. So this is another one. Uh, again, you know, just kind of showcasing the quality of the video. Um, there we are. And now let's listen to the audio and see how exactly, how loud this can get. So right now this is fully blasted. All right, so you can see right there how that looks. So this is actually currently in 4K and overall looks pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and try out Nintendo Switch. So again, very smooth. I love the fact that this thing is nice and crisp in terms of quality goes. And it really does look like I'm watching like a, an HDMI screen. I mean, again, this thing is filmed, uh, actually like shooting in 4K and you can, you can tell that there's a huge, improvement in terms of the quality on this thing and the fact that you can actually shoot this at up to 150 inches is absolutely absurd. Now, again, if you're looking for something that's like a really high quality projector that is technically a little bit portable, I guess you could say, that does require some kind of outsourced uh, power, this is definitely a great way to go. And take that, take that, bah. All right, so shows you exactly how this plays out. And I have to say the quality of this is absolutely great and works out quite well for what it is. So yeah, kind of gives you an idea what that's about. All right, well, there you guys have it. So overall, a really cool design concept. I absolutely have to say that both of these projectors are very unique of their own. I love the fact that this particular capsule is very interesting in terms of design concept, mainly because of the fact that it's lightweight, portable, and it's almost the shape of a Coke can. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions about either projectors, comment down below. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.